Here he uh, is, Philip Keen. <laughs> so you learn a lot about not just crimes, but uh, reporting Ex too. Exactly. <laughs> uh, Rusty's becoming a, the cub reporter, if you will. He wants to be a reporter for a school paper, but that's not going to work out so well for him. Mm -hmm. So he's going to have to find some other avenue to tell his stories. Um, and in, in that light, um, our, our season begins with, with a theme, mm -hmm. and this, th this year's theme is courage. And so it's about what it takes to uh, be an officer of the law, not just putting on a badge and a gun, because we already know that that takes a lot of, um, of courage to do those kinds of things. But do you, how do you start a new relationship after maybe one or more marriages has, has failed? Mm -hmm. How do you come back you know, to face your colleagues after you've been reprimanded publicly? How do you um, pursue your dreams? You know, like Buzz wants to be a police officer, but he put that on hold for a little while because his mother was concerned about his safety when his father and uncle were murdered. So it's, it's about pursuing those things that, that you want to do and having the courage to do that. Buzz has been around for a long time. So he, he was So he was in the, the previous show, The Closer, mm -hmm. also. It's interesting because, you know, we've been on TV for quite some time, too. Okay. And wow. I, you, you, see, you see yourself develop exactly. over the years. It's yeah. strange, even age, mm -hmm. kind of strangely. I mean, do you look back at those earlier shows, let's say The Closer, and, and think, Wow, this this character and I've developed so oh, much. Oh, very more. much so. My hair was about as long as yours when I first oh. started. When I first started <laughs> was this it blonde like this too? Yeah, it yeah. was. It was. No, but mine was not a good I color blonde. I stole your look. Okay, yeah. no, it's, it looks good on you. For me, it didn't work so well. Um, but it's been really see, neat to see the character grow over all these years. And uh, I was talking to our costumer, Greg Lavoy, and he said, "I've kind of watched you grow up on this show," Crazy. which is sort of interesting because I didn't get started in this until I was well into my thirties. Mm. So right after yeah. you were. After Already I graduated from UCLA, time. exactly. And you had lived all over the world. I had. I'd lived in Central America for a couple of years. I moved to Europe. I lived in London and Amsterdam and mm -hmm. back to Miami and then uh, back to Los Angeles. So oh. Back to my roots. That's where I'm from. And if any Google search of your name and, mm -hmm. it, and it brings up all the Pan Am stuff. Because you worked, you worked for Pan Am. I did. did I worked for, for Pan Am for four years. I was a flight attendant. Wow. Uh, so I was with them until the, the day the company ceased operations. So, so I asked you because I knew some female uh, flight attendants with Pan Am and they mm -hmm. would get weighed in. They couldn't weigh over a certain amount. I Is had that the same, for male? Yes, I still had the same weight restrictions. Um, Based on your height and your body mass, you could only weigh a certain amount. So Luckily, I never reached it at that point. Oh, so. I was going to say, yeah. it's a good way to keep you on a diet, That's true. right? Although season five of The Closer, you can take a look at it, you know, talking about seeing yourself all uh -huh. these years. I had an affair with the craft services cart. Uh-oh. And we had to break uh, up. Yeah. <laughs> Bob and I can relate. Yeah. On so many I, I dropped a toddler. It was about 30 pounds. So. That's so funny. Yeah. I mean, it is kind of a throwback to the time, the whole Pan Am stuff. Because you, 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 you remember, like, walking through New York City, oh, right? Yeah. And walking down mm -hmm. Park Avenue and seeing the big... Pan Am Exactly, which is now the building. MetLife building. Yeah. yeah. But you collect all this Pan Am stuff? I do have about 3,000 pieces in my collection. Wow. Yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. Pan Am memorabilia. Mm -hmm. And we were a great big family there, just like we are on Major Crimes. And we've had the same crew for almost the 11 years that we've been together. Between Major Crimes and The Closer, we've been together right. for almost mm -hmm. 11 years. And our turnover rate's probably like 5 or 10%. Wow. So it's, it's been a really good place to be. And so you're married to the creator, right? Yes, I don't know if I a lot am. of people know no, that. Course, Maybe yeah, they do. A lot of people uh, do know that. What's yeah. that like working? Well, is do it you working know about for the plot before I everybody? I really try and separate myself as much as possible because uh, if I don't know about it, then I can't talk about it. Mm -hmm. right? oh, you're like a White House press secretary. <laughs> exactly, exactly. So down in the trenches and I have to maintain my relationship with my fellow actors and uh -huh. I can't be the one, I can't be the mole. You know, I have mm -hmm. to right. be the actor on stage and then I can go home and be the, the spouse. Right. Wow. So, and every, the, the worlds can never meet. All right. And why do you think this show's been so popular? You yeah. know, like, it's so interesting year because it's really unusual for, for something uh, you know, to have this the much longevity. staying power. It, Exactly. I, I think what it is is that we have such a diverse cast, mm -hmm. and so there's someone or something for almost everybody to mm -hmm. identify with. Whether you're a woman, whether you're a person of color, um, people with different sexual identities. Whether you're a bitter reporter. A bitter reporter, exactly. <laughs> um, young and old. And it's a, it's a show that I find almost the entire family watches together. Mm -hmm. Oftentimes there's a show that the husband likes to watch or right. the wife likes to watch or maybe the kids. But this is a show that everybody can get around and, and find some place to hang their hat. All right. Congratulations. Major Crimes, uh, Mondays at 9 on TNT. Don't miss it. It's been around for a long time for a reason. <laughs> yeah, it's a good place to be. Awesome. Thanks, Thank Philip. Thank you. Thanks.